okay, here's a passage that's pretty much in an F major scale. Can you play me an F major scale? Mm hmm it over a two octave span. Now, play the first note and come to a stop on the first note. Look what you do. Now, start the scale on the G. In other words, play the F and, and just hold it. And then get going starting on the G. if you want to. Now, go through the F and the G at the beginning, pause, and then really get started on the A. And now, and let's do that again for the fourth note of the scale. finish that sequence out. So. That's really good. That is a preliminary exercise for building up for speed. There's a reason some people play lots of scales and arpeggios. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at any given page of music, there are arpeggios and there are scales usually accounting for anywhere from 10 to 50 percent of what what's being played so let's try that now downwards i want you to get used to playing snippets of an f major scale so start with your f and just come down two octaves now pause on the f and then da -da -da -da. And go to a D. and then from d If you look at this measure, for instance, mm -hmm. you play an A, and then you go to C, which is the fifth note of the scale, and you play this, mm -hmm. you play a group of notes. And then it's sort of like you turn around and you're playing an F major scale, right. starting with the A, mm -hmm. just as we did a couple of steps ago, where right. it's a portion of an F major scale. Mm -hmm. So see how that lies in your hand. You play these notes, and then you go up the F major scale. Yes. And see if you can end up on an A on top here, just as it is in the music. And now... And do I use the same fingering for the F? You, you can use the, the fingering of an F major scale if you want, if you're in doubt. You can always, you know, use whatever fingers would have come, which means that you would use this finger on the B flat, right. and then you'd go to the thumb. Are we going to the A? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Uh, ba -da -da -da. And now just come up the scale. Let's look at that last little... Can you just turn your hand sideways and go... See if you can do it from C to A. Mm -hmm. And now can you uh, imitate that with fingers? Yes. See, that puts a different feeling into the hand. It's a glissando feeling. Very nice. So let's try that. Let's see now if we can get a little speed out of that. Let's look for hand coverages that make sense to you. Like, try playing the C, D, and the E with one, two, three. Middle C, D, E. That's it. Now forget that ever existed. And now go on to the F afterwards and go. Now 
forget that ever existed and now go and then right so we've got right excellent we'll just keep working in the process and go back there. And now there's just sort of a bobble in the wrist that connects one of those groupings to the next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's something happening in the elbow that doesn't need to happen. Okay. Just go and feel like you're done. Okay. Right. And then, yes. If you can, if you can keep that stopping, there you go.